four bin, six bin, eight bin solar bin installation steps. The package includes installation instructions, a pair of bins, installation accessories. This is a no night amorphous silicon solar panel. This is the horizontal tube. This is the digital display screen. It's only on the receiving terminal. This is the infrared hole. It triggers alarm when three holes are blocked. This is the calibration hole. This is the power switch button of beam. This is the docking port for DC charging. This is the built-in alarm home. It's only on the receiving terminal. You can set the duration of alarm. Set it when turn on power. Press three times a power switch to turn on. The alarm time is six seconds. From the product label, we can identify the transmitter or receiver. T is transmitter, S is receiver. The first step, check whether the beams work an alarm normally. Take beams and the sirens trap as example. Beams and sirens trap have been matched. Turn on the beam. Press the Y switch on the back three to seven times. The beam indicator lights up after it's turned on. There are three to five beeps indicates that the beam is normal. We can also check whether the beam is on by pressing the power button. If there is a beep, it means that the beam has been powered on. If there is a double beep, it means that the beam is off. Press the power button three times in the same way to turn on the other terminal. Turn them on and align them. If the beam works normally about 15 seconds later, the line on the receiver breaks and there were six beeps. Then use a thick object to block any group of three infrared holes. The siren drop alarms, which means that the beam alarms correctly. The second step, fix with the iron fittings and the mounting bracket in the package. There are right angle fittings, cross fittings, clasp, and three different size of screws. Use small screws to fix the cross parts and the right angle parts. The two fixing screws must be tightened. Pay attention to the mounting direction of screws. Then use larger screws to fix the clasp and cross fitting on the iron bracket. The two fixing screws must be tightened. Fix it in the same way. There are two different right angle fittings in the package. This is used to adjust the left and right direction of beams. This is used to adjust the forward and backward direction of beams. These two groups fitting should be used together. Fix the beam to the mounting bracket with medium screws. The two fixing screws must be tightened. The single transmitter antenna is located at the top of the beam. When facing the beam, please make sure the end with 
horizontal tube is up. Fix the beam on the upper end of the iron bracket as far as possible. The third step, determine the installation position of the iron bracket. Check whether the blister in the horizontal tube is in the middle position. After confirming the position, mark the hole position with a marker and punch the hole. Then fix the iron bracket with the screws. The bracket is stable and does not shake. If the blister is not in the middle of the horizontal tube, fine tuning can be done by moving the screw facing position of the right angle fitting in the direction of the front and rear. The fourth step, calibrate the beams, is recommended to adjust the transmitting terminal first then the calibration of the receiver terminal. After adjustment, you can hear six beeps on the receiver. At the same time, the receiver has a digital display screen to check whether the alignment is accurate. When adjusting the transmitting terminal, so the calibration hole at the transmitter end, the front, back and left positions of the transmitter can be fine-tuned. Make sure the opposite end of the receiver is in the middle of side of the calibration hole. After confirming the position, tighten the facing screws in the left and right directions in the front and the rear directions. Tighten the facing screws. Then check calibration again through the calibration hole. Determine the position and then adjust the front, back, left and right direction through the fine tuning screw. And observe the numerical changes of the digital display screen. Make sure the value of the display is above 100 and the value jumps is within 30. Step 5. Any three infrared night holes triggers alarm. That means the beams are calibrated. Test the other end of the beam in the same way. Shop solar beam system at https.vdrdalarm.com.